All right, today is the day and we are back after a little bit of time off. We have been gone for a few weeks. Actually, over a month hasn't it been? Well, I am sorry about that. But this time of year, things really kick up in my life and I have lots and lots of things going in the springtime. Um, one of the things that spring, of course, brings on is a little change in the weather. And that weather has created a deluge. Deluge in the weather and deluge in the growth of things around me. The weeds and the grass around here have gone absolutely crazy. We have had some rain and then sun and rain and sun. And it just keeps going in that cycle, which makes the growth go crazy. In fact, I'm going to show you a little picture right here. That is a cuttings of the grass over the leach field on the side of my house. And I have a couple acres all around me that take care of as well to keep clear of those weeds in case we have fires, which have been a disaster the last few years here. But anyway, that's just part of it. Also taking a little bit of vacation and some other things going on. But I have been working on videos and some of those are just stacking up not quite completed projects that we'll wait as soon as they complete, we'll have them back to you. Now you're gonna say, well, why don't you just hire somebody to go do this work for you? Well, that is how I get my exercise, doing these things around the yard. And if I didn't do those things around my yard, just hire somebody to do that, well, I would have to go to the gym and then it would just take me the time anyway. But we are going to take a look today at adding a roll bar system into the car or some roll uh, tubing structures. Now this is a video talking about composites. Well, we have the composites of the fiberglass being two different materials joined together, create something stronger than the two materials would on their own. And we are adding a third material in there and you will see how all that works. Anyway, let's jump in, take a look. Before we can actually start on this steel structure, I'm gonna do a little bit of laminations here. Now, by the door seal, there is a curved area that is part of the aerodynamics feeding the rear side of the car. But we wanna flatten that area off because that's gonna be a little bit of a luggage, or I don't know if I'm gonna say luggage, but just that area where you can put some of your gear. It's gonna be the only trunk we have. Now I'm gonna create that. I've put this little paper in to make a dam and I've filled it with some expanding foam. As you can see, a little bit of a disaster here. Got a leak at the bottom and the foam's gone all over the place, but we will work around that. Once that foam's set, we're just gonna start cutting it down and shaping it. Now you're gonna say, well, what a crappy video this is and it's out of focus. Well, I just let it stay in here just so that you could have uh, the experience of seeing what I deal with every day when I'm doing this. Of course, set the camera up, got it into focus, and then as I walked away, it focused on the roof of the car rather than the work I was doing. But you get the idea. Carve that foam, get it into the shape we want it. Go back, mix up some uh, slurry, microspheres with some epoxy, and then jump back over there, set the camera up, make sure the focus stays where it's supposed to be this time. Anyway, we'll get this thing coated with slurry, sand it back down, and we'll be ready to add some fiberglass for our lamination in these areas. And we're gonna put some unidirectional, some heavier fabric to tie it into the rear bulkhead and the sidewall there, and then cover it with a couple of layers of some more flexible cloth just to encapsulate that foam, tie it all in, make everything nice and smooth and pretty again. Like I said, this isn't adding any much structure here. This is just to create a little flat area for the baggage groceries, whatever you think you're going to haul in your car. Anyway, behind my shoulder in that area, there's a little pocket that we've had to create also in that area of the door sill. And this is going to be where our roll bar system swings out and ties into an area that's going to be the striker or the latch mechanism for the door. Now we get these laminations done, I'll actually swing around and show you, get the camera in there where you can actually see what I'm talking about. But that uh, door seal was made out of a one inch foam and I've had to cut the foam away so that we can get fiberglass to go right through to laminate the other side. So here it is all clean and tidy. As I mentioned, I'll swing around here and you can see the foam cut away into a pocket right there. Now we have fiberglass on the inside that ties directly to the fiberglass on the outside right here where the striker plate will be. Now we're ready to start creating some steel now I uh, built this uh, pipe bender out of the cheapest wood splitter I could find. Cut the little wedge off of the wood splitter, add the plates and the dies. Makes a pretty inexpensive uh, pipe bender. Does all the work for you, the hydraulics all inclusive. 
Now I've stolen the dimensions and the angles out of the car with uh, just a little protractor. Brought those in and put it onto my pipe. And now with the assistance of my lovely wife, her holding things, keeping them in line vertically while I adjust things to the angles I need and get the bends in there. Now this uh, roll bar is not symmetrical as it um, there's different things on each side of the car. And once we've got it all bent, we have to cut the legs off that we've left a little bit long anyway, which is always a wise decision. Cut them to length, take it in and fit it in place with some metal feet that we've created. And once everything's sitting in there, we're gonna tack the little mounting feet into place. We're gonna tack them into place, keep trying. Once we got our tack in there, get a wet rag on that thing quick because that plate is hot. And we're sitting right on top of some flammable epoxy fiberglass laminates. We do not want to burn up. That would be a very bad. And here's our roll bar complete. Now, as I take this around, I'll kind of explain how it has to go in from the passenger side because the one extension that goes into that door latch mechanism or the little pocket in the door seal for the door latch mechanism, it has to swing in from the back and fit into that pocket. And of course, on the passenger side, we wouldn't be able to swing it in as well. So it has been made to be attached by sliding into place and bolting into position. Once we get that bolted in, we have our pipe mechanism created. And there's our roll bar. Now, some of you are saying to yourselves, well, McLaren, Bugatti, those million dollar supercars, they don't have a metal roll bar inside. So why are you putting metal roll bars when the composites should be able to accomplish what they're supposed to do? Well, those cars have a budget and the materials probably exceeding a couple hundred thousand dollars in their tub or their monocoque system. And we don't have that luxury of the money or the engineering beside that. So what we are doing is we are adding a steel roll bar, which has the properties of being much more malleable, meaning that in an impact or a rollover, that steel roll bar is going to bend a lot further before it actually fails, further than the fiberglass composites. Now, if you want to go back and watch another video, and I will put links in the end of this video to those, but if you go back and watch a video where we put the vertical laminate core in that rear bulkhead, You'll remember that that thing is about four inches wide and about an inch thick. And those vertical laminates could probably support about 30,000 pounds each. But the problem is that is only a load that could be applied straight down on top of that laminated core. And of course, that is in the perfect world and there is no perfect world in the middle of a wreck. And so those forces would not always be directly straight down on top of it. So we have some other strength that's added into that bulkhead by fiberglass laminates on the front and the back that are tied into those laminates. And now adding the malleable steel roll bar, we add a third component in strengthening it, preventing it from shearing or breaking those two laminate cores apart from each other for a, a little bit longer time in the event of a wreck. So if you want to try to understand a little bit better, if you have seen a home constructed and you got a two by four wall, those two by fours are strong enough to hold all the load of snow or rain and the roof loads, but you could easily tip a house over if all it was was just the two by four studs. There is a shear by adding drywall to the inside, plywood to the outside, adds a lot of shear strength and makes those walls so they can't move laterally. That's what we're doing with the roll bar. We are adding an extra lateral support in the event of a rollover. And you'll see also that we have some side impact protection by where we have little extensions that come out to the plates where the strikers are gonna be. And I'll show you that now. We're gonna jump in, take a look, an explanation of how this whole roll bar system is actually attached. Let's jump over there, take a look. So here is our vertical laminate core, and these are the holes that come in from the rear subframe. Two on the top and these three on the bottom. That vertical laminate core makes a bend into the floor and then travels up through here. We've also got one bracket and a roll bar that will actually punch right through that vertical laminate and tie in right there. So like I said, this thing is about four inches wide and about an inch thick on this vertical laminate core. And all this bar will be attached through that. 
as it comes around makes this bend these bars extend over into that door latch area in that pocket so any impact into that door latch or the door will be transferred through the door latch into the pipe over to the whole roll bar structure itself and as the door comes down of course it will be drilled and tapped so that door latch mechanism can fit right in that position They also need to add in here later on, which will be another video. We need to add another bracket that will be our seat belt attachment area. And that seat metal attaches down here. And then there will be a, another shoulder harness attachment up above, of course. And this on this side is where the bolt hold that whole bar mechanism into the pocket on the passenger side. Now as a little bonus here, I'm going to show you that this is the, actually the front subframe. The front subframe is put into place and I'm drilling through into the footwell area. This is where the front subframe attaches kind of on the side. There's a plate on the inside where those bolts come through and another bar structure in the front. And we'll be adding some structures here, or I should say some tabs for foot pedals and steering columns. Well, there you have a little more rollover and impact protection inside of there. And I will put up a video over here that talks about the, between the materials and how some of them have strengths to different properties, how the malleability of these roll bars is going to help add in protection, transfer those loads. Anyway, thanks for coming by today. Come back, see us again.